Hey guys, I want to show you a new tool called Lazy Manager for 3ds Max. This is a scene assembly and publishing tool. So to get started, I'll show you how to publish an object. So we'll go ahead and create a simple mesh here and we'll select these objects. And then we'll hit the publish button, which is the object icon here, since we're going to publish objects. And we'll call it stacked boxes. Go ahead and delete those. And now you'll see it here in the list with a timestamp of when it was created and the file size. So if we double click that, it'll bring it back into our scene. Now you'll see we have some other uh, samples here. We have Luigi under objects. We have some materials and we have some modifiers. So first we'll bring in Luigi. And if we double click the second item here, the question box, you can click it again and you'll see what is Max's default merge dialog for options regarding duplicates. So we'll bring those into our scene. And we'll bring in our stacked boxes again. <clears throat> Move those off to the side. And what you can do is also publish modifiers. So let's say, for example, there's a common set of modifiers that you use in the way that they're stacked over here. Let's go ahead and create a sample. We'll add a chamfer modifier, make the corners a little smooth, and then maybe do a few setting adjustments here. Then we'll add Turbo Smooth, and let's go ahead and save that out. So with the object selected, we'll click the Modifier button, and we'll just say Smooth Corners. So now what we can do is select our objects and double-click this, and it'll automatically apply those modifiers to those objects. We have a grass one as well, so if we go ahead and create a box, which I've created this uh, modifier preset beforehand, we'll go ahead and make a few of these. If I select those and double click this, you'll see they get a whole set of modifiers and they're instanced by default. You do have the ability of controlling if the modifiers are instanced or not in your settings dialog. As well as if you want objects imported to always be at the origin. <clears throat> so go ahead and delete all this stuff. And I'll show you how materials work. So if we select, we'll create another box here and simply just double click one of the materials you want to bring into your scene. You know, import it into your slate editor. And then what you can do from there is just right click and assign material. So we have the grass one, and you'll see it gets created in a new tab so it doesn't conflict with anything you may previously have set up. Now anytime you want to uh, <clears throat> remove one of these items, you can select it in the list and simply just hit the remove button. And if you want to update one of the publishes, say we updated the smooth corners uh, modifier stack, we can go ahead and just quickly throw something back together here. Uh, you just select it and hit the lightning bolt and it will automatically update that preset. And there you go. Thanks.